What's up, everybody? I'm Z Wade, the Z Wade, and Z Wade Photo, and I'm getting ready to go do this goth boudoir shoot. So let's take a look at the gear that I'm taking to this shoot. Of course, we've got the Z9 here, and that's the only camera I'm going to be using um, for photography today. I got the 20 millimeter f 1.8. This is probably going to be for video, but since I have no idea exactly the room that I will be shooting in because I've never shot here before. I'm kind of just prepared for anything. I've got the 512, of course. I've got the 105 MC right there, macro lens, but also one of my favorite portrait lenses ever. And then we've got the 14 to 24, just in case I have room to use it or in case I don't have room to use <laughs> anything else. So we're kind of just prepared for everything and we don't want to forget this, my little cleaning bag here. I think I'm about ready to head to the studio to grab my lighting.
Feel the cool wind running through my hair Lamenting lost romance it seems to take me there And I hope you keep it safe and fair Cause the distance that's between us is so hard to bear If I open my eyes and see Welcome to the photo follow-up. Now, if the photo follow-up is not your thing, I do appreciate you making it this far. But if the photo follow-up is your thing, let's dive in. Okay, here we are in Lightroom. We're just going to look at a few images because we're mostly talking about the techniques that I use to make this work. We had no overhead light, so you may have noticed in the video that I had the Godox 200 watt light uh, just off to the side and it was shining light at a pretty low power, 10 to 20% the entire time. Uh, and it was just illuminating this background so I could have something that wasn't just dark, dark right behind her head. And it was just enough to kind of be able to tell that these are pillows back here and this is a bed and so on and so forth. Uh, but we just needed a little something back there. And I, I usually have a secondary light just in case. I prefer to just work with a flash if I can get by with it. But that's how I was able to shoot this at basically 64 or 100 ISO with no natural light, literally zero. Basically the first five images or so of the video you just watched were basically just dialing in the light, but we pretty much had it right off the bat. Uh, so these are more portrait-like, less boudoir, less focus on the outfit. And boudoir is really a focus on the outfit. But as we get a little further, you know, we do get into some of that. A little bit of just a little bit of spice, you know, but not revealing. As you saw, uh, I didn't have to censor anything because there is no nudity in this shoot. 
Here we just created a little bit of a subframe around the head using the cloth from the bed. This is a super rad bed, by the way. Um, I've actually, my bed is so basic, right? It's so vanilla and this one's like, like totally matches her personality. I'm actually going to skip over some of the more boudoir shots. Um, I don't know how close I'm writing the line between monetization and not, but I want to look at this one because this right here is awesome, right? And so, yeah, we have the flash on her. It's super sharp. Oh, look at the skin. It's amazing. Yes, um, the camera did a really good job and the focus, you know, I did a good job getting the focus point where I wanted. And this is nice and out of focus, but this right here is what's king. Having that light shine back here and illuminating this just a little bit to create a little bit of a shape, almost a triangular shape in here, just to make the legs not basically with a, a dead black or gray background, right? And so this is the kind of things that, that you also should look out for. And so once I saw this, this isn't perfectly in line with her knee, but it's extremely close, close enough for me. I think it looks awesome. This is a really, really cool shot because of that. And as we can see in all of these shots, just having this extra bit of light in the background is basically what made this. That's how we illuminated this right here, like the back of the bed. That was the only way that we were going to have not a basically black background at 100 ISO. I mean, just look at this. The Z9 did so good. This is with the 50 millimeter again. I did use the 20 millimeter in here. Uh, some of those, I'm not going to get into those shots because uh, they're a little more on the risque side. And so uh, we're not going to do that in this one. And I also did not include very many of them in the video. Actually, these regular portraits, I actually like more than the boudoir focused uh, shots, especially getting into these headshots where I was doing F1.2. It's just beautiful. It's just destroyed in the background, but we still have just enough light back there to separate her hair from the background. And honestly, I think this one might be my favorite. It gives me that um, 1920s vibe that I haven't shot in a long time. But I mean, I pulled back the texture to give it some softness and it's just amazing. I love it. So some takeaways from this shoot, uh, always make sure that you bring an extra light, even if you don't need it, because in this situation, I definitely needed it just to have as like a background light. And you probably saw in the video, it was not a softbox, right? It was just a, uh, the dish that comes with your, with, with your lights. You know, I don't know. It's not a beauty dish. I don't know what they call it, but it basically just using it like a spotlight on the background. So make sure you always have an extra light just in case you want to do this, right? Cause that's going to help give you some of that separation. That's it for this video. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade and Z-Wade photo, and we'll talk soon.